Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Kathy. And today we're going to do another batch of smoked jerky meat. Uh, the idea is to do it slowly over a hardwood fire. And uh, we're not cooking the meat, we're drying it, and at the same time we're smoking it. I got my bucket of hickory chips that I'm going to use every time I want to throw a little bit on there for some smoke. And uh, right here is our meat. This is a, a beef tip roast. It's very lean, hardly any fat or tallow on it at all. And uh, on my little rack that I made here out of popple, I got some wire that I wrapped around and just made some little hooks on the ends. So it would just hang there. So just put it on there. And Kathy can tell you about the meat and the, the jerky mix we use. Right now we used the jerky mix that we got with our food dehydrator from Nesco. And it also has a cure in it. But a cure is completely optional for you. But if you're going to be using some heat that's lower than 150 degrees, then you should have a cure because it prevents botulism and other foodborne bacteria. Alright, so we'll get this hung up. We've got 20 pieces that we're going to throw on here. We want a nice smoky flavor to it. I just got some wire that I twist around here and then I pull it up to make little hooks on it. After we get this all loaded up, we'll move the rack over the fire pit. Time to time, I'll just throw on a little chunk of maple or oak just to keep the coals going. It's a nice day here in northern Wisconsin. The humidity is real low. So it shouldn't take a whole lot of time to, for it to dry. Probably no longer than if it was in the dehydrator. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Alright. So if you got to grab an end, we'll move it over. Again, we're not cooking this. We just want a nice, slow, dry heat. Should be able to keep your hand there, which is pretty good. Yeah, I think we're real well here. All right. And we'll turn it around from time to time, make sure it's all getting cooked, not cooked, dried evenly. Yeah, if the fire starts getting too hot, we'll just move the rack over away from it a little bit. Uh, also, the smoke is good for keeping the flies or whatever bugs away. But there, now you see a nice smoke going up there. <coughs> So, all right, we'll uh, check back then from time to time. All right, it's been two hours so far since we started this. We've got the dog out here, Ursa. She's guarding it, making sure that nothing gets it. You can see she's doing a really fantastic job, like always. Probably sleeping or something. Hey. Okay, anyway, you can come on in. You can see that it's starting to get nice and dry. A little bit of cracks in there. You can see uh, I don't have much for fire. It's actually doing a pretty good job right now. Shouldn't be but another couple hours and we'll be done. I'll throw on a little bit more. Uh, And all I've been doing from time to time is just moving the, the rack one way or the other. What kind of wood are you using? Just maple and oak for my, for my fire. And it's not real hot. I 
and then the hickory chips. A little bit more about us is uh, we've been full-time RVing for 12 years. Been totally off the grid, as they say. We have no bills, no electric, water, sewer, cable, nothing. So, you know, we had a house for 25 years and uh, it just got real boring, real tiresome just to go to work every day just to pay the bills to own a house. So we sold it, sold most everything we had and bought an RV. We have a 34 foot travel trailer. We're campground hosts in Vilas County. So we get to stay here for free during the summer. We're here generally about seven months out of the year. And then we go to Arizona for the winter and we camp out on BLM land and that's free. So it gives us a lot of time and opportunity to do this kind of stuff which we like we really enjoy doing so we'll come back in a couple more hours and check on it one more time should be about done by then all right so it's been four hours now we got uh, weather they're looking really good four hours is usually about as long as I keep it in the dehydrator uh, I'd say these got maybe an hour maybe two hours left to go but uh, they're looking really well dried up nice you can still see they're still pliable they're not overcooking them they're just drying we got the Sun helping us now which helps so we'll check back in another hour or two and they should be done It's really good. Not only do you get the, the flavor of the jerky mix, but you have the added flavor of the smoke. Mm, wow. <laughs> that is really good. Yep. Better than anything you can buy in a store, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. Well, hope you give this a try. Thanks for watching. Oh, and then check us out on Facebook at all things wild if you're into hunting fishing trapping photography gathering mushrooms whatever just look for the canoe at the top of the page and oh and subscribe to my youtube please 